All right, Doc. Statin drugs. So many people coming in saying my cholesterol is over 250. You know, it was over 200. They really didn't think it was a big deal. Now I'm up at 250, and they put me on statin drugs. I've been having memory loss, muscle pain, weakness, fatigue. What is something natural I can take? And I know you've been even Heart Savior for a couple of years in your practice. What kind of number drops have you been seeing using Heart Savior in your practice? Actually, I've seen dramatic drops. Probably, you're usually looking for about 12 weeks. You know, this doesn't happen overnight nor does the elevation of cholesterol. But in about 12 weeks, we've been seeing people drop in from the 250 down into the 200 range. Is 200 fine? I think 200 is approaching fine. 250 is getting on the borderline. The key, though, I think, is more than just dropping the cholesterol, that amount, is that you have very little symptoms. Because these same patients have even been on the drugs, the statin drugs, their cholesterol haven't, hasn't been lowered enough and they want to keep, increase, keep increasing and increasing and increasing, and they have more and more side effects, and the patients are miserable. With this particular heart savior, I don't see that. I see very, very few side effects. We don't see the muscle aching. We don't see the memory issues. So getting someone off of a statin and getting them on a heart savior is not only life-saving from the standpoint of lowering cholesterol, but it's quality of life. They feel so much better. Well, Doc, I know muscle pain is one of the number one side effects, and People will always say, oh, I have a Charlie horses, or my legs just hurt, I can't play golf anymore. I think they need to be aware that not only are their legs muscles, their hearts are muscles too. So if your legs are so weak to the point where you can't play golf, but you can actually sit in your golf cart and have a beer and rest for a second, what about your heart? Your heart never gets a break. Is it the same biochemistry going on there? Oh, yeah. The muscles that are in your legs are the similar type of muscle that's in your heart, and the, the key here is with coenzyme Q10. It provides energy. It provides energy to your muscles and your legs. When you don't have energy, the muscle gets tired. You get tired. You have the cramping and the pain. The same process can occur in your heart. And we have seen patients on statins have increased incidence of cardiomyopathies where the heart becomes works less and less properly. Uh, the ejection fraction or how well the heart squeezes diminishes dramatically. And what's interesting you stop the statins, the heart risk recovers. The same thing goes with the muscles in your legs. You stop the statins, the legs recover. So the bottom line is if people are out there having side effects, they feel off kilter, their muscles hurt, they can't play golf, they're not enjoying the same quality of life, they can go to their doctor, talk to them, say, hey, you know, I've been feeling like I'm getting side effects ever since I started this medication. Can I try the natural heart savior for three months? See if my cholesterol goes down. Hey, doc, you're the boss, but if it works and I don't have any side effects, can I stay on it? Or if it doesn't work, I'll be happy to go on the medication you first recommended. Wouldn't that be a great way to talk to their physician? It would be a much better way to approach that because uh, not only is it tying in the physician that they feel that they're participating, but I think the other part is some physicians aren't aware of that. They're automatically starting on statins. The most important thing is to do is to get a patient on a medicine to control their cholesterol but you don't want to make them feel miserable. So getting them started on a proper diet, getting them started on heart savior, getting them started on more exercise, those things are critical. Why are we studying statins right up front? That is what's occurring now in medicine, and I think that's wrong. And using something like this with very, very few side effects, heart savior can really help a patient a lot.